guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be starting off with some Too Faced eyeshadow primer and just popping that all over my eye. And then I'm just warming up some masking tape on the back of my hand to use this as a guide to create the cat eye wing. Now I'm grabbing the shade Latte from my Tartlet Toasted palette and just working that into the crease using my Morphe M532 brush. Now I don't have a lot of real estate on my eyelids so I'm dragging this right up quite close to my brow bone um, because most of the cat eye wing will be covering my eyelid space and just above my crease as well. So I want this color to show through so I'm not going to be shy with it. I'm going to pop it on quite prominently. Now with this Maybelline black eyeliner, I'm going to be mapping out the shape of my cat eye wing. Now these clips have been sped up, but in real time, this took me about 10 to 15 minutes to map out my shape and get it perfectly. So take your time with it. If you make any mistakes, it's really hard to erase it because it is a cold pencil which smudges and goes everywhere. Now after I roughly get the shape that I want, I start to fill it in again very roughly because we're going to go over the top of this with a matte black eyeshadow just to set everything in place and to intensify it. Now this was probably the most difficult part of the makeup look was trying to get the cat eye wings to twin status because every time you make a little move, one gets thicker and you try to match the other one. So again, like I said before, take your time with it and always just lean back and make sure that they're even. Now I'm using this matte black shade called Licorice from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm using this flat shader brush from e.l.f. Um, to apply it. So I dampened the brush a little bit with some Mario Badescu um, facial mist and then wiped off the excess of that water just on the back of my hand so it's not too wet. And I like to just pat the shadow right into my eyeshadow um, and not swipe too much. Now I'm just wiping off any black fallout with uh, a baby wipe and now I'm going in with my Demi Wispy eyelashes by Ardell. I didn't want to use a really thick full-on pair of lashes because I wanted the eyeshadow to come through. I think these um, lashes just nicely complement the look and not overpower it. And after I pop some mascara on, I'm going in with my Mecca Cosmetica Illuminating Primer and just working that into my skin. And for foundation, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 330 and just working that into my skin with a damp beauty blender. And here I'm just using a smaller brush to get some foundation between my eyebrows so I wouldn't wipe away any of my eyebrow pigment with the Beauty Blender. And I also just wiped off the foundation off my lips because I feel like I look like a ghost with foundation on. Um, and now I'm just popping some concealer on under my eyes just to get rid of a bit more of that darkness and blending that in with the Beauty Blender as well. And to highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium 25. And this is a, a little bit more of a lighter shade than the shade I used before, and it just helps to highlight my face. Now I'm going to set slash semi bake um, underneath my eyes just to prevent any creasing. I'm also going to tap lightly some of that loose powder on my nose just so when I contour it sort of blends a lot more easily. Now going back to the eyes, I'm just lining my waterline with 
um, some of that black eyeliner from Maybelline and going in with that definer brush that I used earlier just to smudge the lower lash line with some of that black eyeshadow and I dabbed it a little bit into latte as well so it softens it up a little bit more. I'm just contouring my nose here. If you guys want to see a full in-depth video of how I contour my nose, I've done that previously. So I'll link it below and you guys can check it out. Just popping on my bindi now. I got this from my local Indian sari shop. Time to warm up the face now. I am using Max Gimme Sun Bronzer very, very lightly. I'm not going to do any harsh contouring or anything like that because I want the focus of the whole look to be on the eyes. Using the same brush, I'm just going to pop some blush onto the apples of my cheek. Again, this is very subtle and nothing that overpowers the face. Now I'm going to line my lips with this pinky red lip liner. I do not know the name of it because it wiped off, so I do apologize for that. But for the lips, I'm using Max Ruby Woo, which is a classic red that goes with any skin tone. And I decided to do red on the lips because the sari had little um, red uh, rhinestones um, and it just really brought the whole look together and obviously with the red bindi it looked quite nice too. For highlighter I'm using the eyeshadow candle from the Tarte Lead Toasted palette and it just is really really pretty <laughs> and this is the finished look you guys I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'd love to see you guys recreate this um, so tag me in your photos on Instagram so I can see them um, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video bye